What's going on guys? Yes Show is closing out this side four. This is Wondrous Stories. This closes out the whole record, right? But again, I, I said I'm doing the, extra, the two extras. I want to do them. So, all right. Wondrous Stories. Let's get to it. Bam. I woke this morning I turned on upstream bound for my forgiver in the giving of my eyes to see your face. Sound is very like Beatles, right? Very like Beatles that. Got it on, right? Wow. Lands not far, nor lands they were in his mind. He turned it off. A fusion captured high, where reason captured his time. In no time at all, he took me to the gate. Now it's still there. In haste, I quickly checked the time. If I was late, I had to leave. nice song it's a very nice song cool wow and that ended the album all right all right that ended the album there it is okay um i think that the best personally i think the best is gates of delirium on this yeah i think gates of delirium is where it's at on this whole yes shows you know i'm gonna separate the bonus too just because right because that didn't come until freaking decades later right yeah gates of delirium is definitely the best i would say probably the most disappointing parts is uh the endings for time and a word and ritual part one like yo no like what 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 and then overall just the sound quality specifically of side one 
Side one, I think, is the worst of it, I would say, in terms of, like, mix and all that. Yeah. Uh, the song choices, I think, are fine. I think the songs that they chose are fine. If anything, I would just want more. <laughs> you know, because so much is taken by the Gates of Delirium and Ritual that you know, you just want more songs. I'm like, give me more songs, right? Give me, give me more songs. So that's all I would say about that type of thing is, yeah, wanting more songs. But I think that, you know, what they threw on here was, was fine. It was fine. Everything was fine. There's nothing, you know, aside from what I said being wrong, I, I feel like, you know, Everything else is fine. They're playing great. They sound great, right? It's more just like sound quality mixing and and those weird just cuts at the end to end the songs like that. That's so weird. And the and the cringe John Anderson were an R&B funk band now, or whatever. Get the funk out of my face. Whatever the heck, crap he's saying at the end of Don't Kill the Whale. The the introductions or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. There it is. That's that. It's cool. It's cool. Again, I'd rather have it than not have it. Gates of Delirium, as uh, stated previously in the reception, you know, I'd buy it for, for Delirium and Ritual alone, I'd buy it. Yeah, I, I would agree specifically with Gates of Delirium. Specifically with Gates of Delirium. For sure. The Mutron's cool, right? He left it on for Wondrous Stories. I don't... I think that that works for him and his sound. I think it works. I'm not offended by it at all. Like, at all in any way, shape, or form. I think it works. I think it's an interesting, different side of the Mutron where, you know, usually it's, you know, Bootsy Collins. It's in the more funk realm where these guys are nothing like that. I think it's, I think it's cool. I think it works. I'm good with it. I'm totally good with it. Yeah, not mad at it. Okay, there it is. All right, up next, I am going to be doing the uh, extras, the two extras. I've seen all good people. This is from uh, 1978. That's what I'm going to be doing next. I'll catch you then. Later. Later.